Now, D-Day anniversary ceremonies are underway in France. It was 70 years ago today, Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy to take down Nazi Germany. And this morning on Daybreak, we're taking you inside one of the last surviving D-Day ships and it's docked right here in West Michigan. The USS LST-393 is in Muskegon, where it now serves as a veterans museum. In 24 Hour News 8's Amanda Jarrett got a tour of this historic ship. A lot of history docked mm -hmm. right here in West Michigan, Amanda. It is a true treasure, Brett and Emily. If you haven't seen it yet, you have to go check it out with your family. The USS LST-393 made 30 round trips to the beaches of Normandy, carrying everything from tanks to supplies, servicemen, even prisoners of war. You've probably seen her quietly floating here in Muskegon since the 1970s. But the LST-393 has war stories of her own. This ramp that we're standing on was in the sand at Omaha Beach. Tanks were unloaded on this ramp, fallen soldiers carried, prisoners escorted. A lot has played out on the LST. John Stevenson knows her story. He's read the war diaries and talked to sailors who were aboard on D-Day. He took us inside to see a true treasure gifted by the family of one of those sailors, the LST's battle flag from D-Day. It is a very historic artifact. Um, it looks like it's been shot up, but in fact, that's just normal wear. Walking below deck, you're surrounded by history. This area was loaded with 28 tanks that went into battle in the D-Day invasion. Up top, it still resembles mostly what it looked like 70 years ago. It's a different color now, and there have been a few changes. When she was headed for Normandy, you couldn't see one inch of this deck. It was totally covered with Jeeps, trucks, cannons, and all of that had to get off the ship somehow. See the small square? That's an elevator. All of the supplies moved below deck piece by piece. It's those little details Stevenson wants to preserve to keep her story alive. It's truly an honor because this is a, uh, a wonderful old ship. She is a terrific piece of history. She absolutely is. And there's only three ships from D-Day still in existence. Stevenson says keeping the LST in fresh water for decades actually helped preserve her. That's amazing. That's really cool. Yeah. I can't believe it's right here in West Michigan. I didn't know about uh -huh. it. And a lot of people probably it, don't know about it. Right. You know, yeah, well, they do now. That's they, the best thing about right. it. They can go down and see that there. There's also the USS Silversides, which is a mm -hmm. World War II submarine that's there you can tour. A lot of people even spend the night on it. There's a lot of cool things that happen there in Muskegon. It's amazing. And you know, this is volunteer-based, always taking donations. Okay. It's just a great project. Very good. All right. Thank, Thank you so you much Amanda. for telling us about it.